<laughs> Kirk? I was too excited. I thought you were an intruder. And what were you going to do for Boz? Pot me? Is something cooking? It's the beef. It's 14 minutes past two. I know. Hey, thanks for my skateboard, mate. You won't believe this, though. I got you one too, and a pencil case. Oh, ta. Hooray! He's been! <gasps> and look, he's drunk his whiskey and he's had his three mince pies. He must be a big boy, Santa. <laughs> he's good looking and all. Come on, then. Right, come on, let's have a look what you've got. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. What's she got then, Rye? Face paints. She turns out half as well as he has. Oh, they're done all right. <laughs> right then, who's for a massive slap up breakfast? Black pudding, grilled tomatoes, box beers. Just have a croissant. Has she started yet? I've already opened mine. Evidently. <sighs> Mum! I've already got this. Oh, you haven't? Yeah. I bought it last week, and to be honest, it's not that great. Well, it looked good on the packet. Yeah, well, they're hardly going to make it sound rubbish on the packet, are they? No, oh, well, I'm sorry. I'll fish out the receipt. Yeah. Well, what are you doing buying yourself DVDs the week before Christmas? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. 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 Christmas, everybody. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. I, um, I got this for you. Oh, thank you. No, no, I meant it's from Uncle Stephen. Oh. For me? What's this? Hiya. Hiya. Uh, I just thought for when you're doing, like, you know, Italian documents or sending emails or whatever. That's, uh... That's fantastic. My, uh... My Italian's a joke. <laughs> Creeping, is he? Too late. I got one for myself as well, but I had to take it back. Yeah, well... <clears throat> Thanks, that's, uh, that's very kind. Where's Jason, then? <laughs> oh, uh, he's popped round to his mum's. He'll be back in a minute. He got me some aftershave, you know. Mm, I know, I helped pick it out, so you be careful what you say. <laughs> he shouldn't go flinging his money about on me. Oh, that's all right. He only got it from the market. <laughs> so, Billy, you're off over to Webbo's this year. You know, you'll miss Maureen. I've invited her for tea. David! Please, will you grow up this year? Huh? Hey, up. Someone smells nice. <laughs> <clears throat> Did you honestly think I wouldn't look under the bed? Well... Don't look so rattled. I haven't peeped inside. I'm a big girl, you know. You don't have to hide my presents. <laughs> Let me just get dinner underway, yeah? Then we can start opening. What did I do to deserve you? Nothing. <laughs> well, there's one thing we can say with some degree of certainty. It can't be as bad as last year. Oh. <laughs> Although David did have the cheat to make a crack about it. He nearly turned on his heels. Yeah. Hey, uh, who's the awful one, then? Oh, me tonight, once the girls have got to bed. Oh, yeah. Kevin! <laughs> what? What yeah. you present? Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know what I wanted to ask you. You know when you do your stuff it? Ah, yeah. So, will we better get out later on? Well, let's just uh, leave it till after dinner and test the temperature. Oh, so do I. Where's the glasses? <laughs> Thanks, so. Oh, Kevin, I'm glad you like it. I thought you could do with a bit of jazzing up. Yeah, it's just a job. <laughs> Go all right with some cords and a pair of boots, that. Dad. Do you know what that shirt says? Go on. It says, I give up. <laughs> I officially give up. <laughs> oh, I thought it was quite nice. <laughs> Hi, Grandad. Hi, Lord Jay. Oh, hey. now, don't you look fabulous. Oh. Hey, Merry Christmas, sweetheart. <laughs> hey, there's a present in here for you somewhere. Oh, thank you, but I think I lost my bracelet in the Rovers last night, so I was going to go back and look for it. Oh, well, don't be too long, love, cos I need you in the kitchen. OK, well, bye. I yeah. love. Bye. Oh, happy anniversary. How long is it now? Oh, about 18 years. About three. Three? He's only three. <gasps> Scary monster, have you had a lovely Christmas? Like, uh, yeah. Just off to Claire's mum's, aren't we? I think that's bad. I've got to go Gail Platt's. 
Not that I'm saying Ashley says going to your mother's is a really bad thing, but I'll go now. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Merry Eileen. Merry Christmas, Eileen. Yes. No, no, no. no. Hayley Proper. Hayley... Parlez-vous anglais? No. Uh, je vois uh, Noël. Uh, bon dia. Listen, listen, listen. Would you ask Hayley Cropper to ring Roy at home? That, 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 that's right, yes. Thank you. Thank, thank you. But, and goodbye. Look who I found on the way, Roy. Uh, <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Can you not get you to Hayley? Uh, I've left a message. She'll, she'll be ringing back. Thanks again for having us, Roy. Not at all. Let, let me take your things. Hey, we brought some lights and everything. Oh. <laughs> and beef. But we weren't sure how long to cook it for, though. It's had a good 11 hours. <laughs> You're like my stepmom. She used to put the turkey in on a very low heat in June. I think the time to take that out of the oven possibly came and went. Ah, oh, well, here we're free. Stick it in the bin and wire us up. Roy, card. Oh, thank you very much. <sighs> well, read it. Oh, right. Happy Christmas from Becky. You know, the, uh, <clears throat> the Australian cricket team always start uh, a test match on Boxing Day. And so sometimes uh, they call Christmas Day uh, Test Match Eve. <laughs> 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 They play cricket in winter. Well, it'd, it'd be summer, wouldn't it? Well, it's just wrong, isn't it? I mean, they should just move Christmas to July. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, they could <clears throat> adjust their Christmas carols, you know, in the bright midsummer, <laughs> uh, walking through a summer wonderland. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for the tin of biscuits, Eileen. So, if we decide to go in the next, say, week, then there's loads of offers on the internet. And Stephen says that he'll give us our first two months' wages in advance, and the apartment's for free. I mean, Jason, there is no way that we cannot do this. Mm. Have you said anything to your mum? Uh, well, I wanted to, but, well, I bottled it a bit. Well, no, no, it's right, cos... We should make our minds up first and then let everyone know in one go. Yeah, and you reckon that we can cover the cost of the flights? Easily. Jason, come on, are we going to do this? I don't know. Do you not think we're rushing into this a bit? Do you know what I heard once? The only safe decision is the riskiest. Hey, up, look. It's Paolo Maldini. <laughs> what are you two whispering about? The real meaning of Christmas. All right, five minutes. I'm going to have to get straight back, but I'll bring your present with me, yeah? OK. Oh, no. What? Well, I thought we had some nutmeg. I'm going to have to nip out and get some. Oh, don't bother schlepping all the way to Dev's for nutmeg. I won't miss it. And all the way to Dev's? You seen that film, Touching the Void? Block drags himself halfway across the Andes for a week and I can't go 50 yards for a packet of nutmeg. Right, well, hurry up, then. I want to get stuck into these prezzies. Mm, OK. <laughs> I didn't hear you get in last night. What time is it? Gone three. Did you, uh, did you get lucky, eh? I really can't remember, Dad. Put it this way, if I did, she got very, very unlucky. Ooh. Good morning, Betty. Hello, love. Do you mind if I go through? Well, if that's the plan. No, that's the plan. OK. Compliments of the season. Oh, and you, my love. <laughs> no, no, I'm going to have to go home here, Dad. What? No, I'll, I'll, I'll see you later. I'll come back. Really? What's the matter with you? Don't worry about it. They don't make blokes like they used to, eh? Tragic, isn't it? You're not going to do it, are you? No, I am. I am. You were promised. Yeah, and I keep my promise. Just after Christmas. Oh, come on, be reasonable, have a heart. It's Christmas Day. Take me for a drive, then. What? I'm only supposed to be at Dev's getting nutmeg. 
Gilwell, Dev was out of nutmeg and you had to go elsewhere. <sighs> well, all right, 20 minutes, but I can't be any longer. Right, go and get the car. I'll wait around the corner. Hurry up, though. It is very pretty. Hands up who thought they wouldn't work. Oh, I tell you what we should play. Do you know that party game, Murder? Look, there's all different settings. What you do, right? I get four bits of paper, mark an X on one of them and put them in a bag. And whoever pulls out the X is the murderer, right? The murderer then has to wink at all the other players without getting caught. And if you get winked at, you just leave it a couple of minutes and then you go, oh, I'm dead. Get it? I like this one best. Yeah, but wouldn't it work better with more people? Last year, played it with eight to two of us. Murder? It were a bloodbath. So, Roy, you got a pen and paper, love? Go on, Jim, take a chocolate. Oh, thank you very much. Hey, where's all the creams, eh? Ah, Vernon. Hey, you're some beast of you are, Vernon, aren't you? Well, sorry, say. say. Mm, big sun-tanned beast, eh? It's called a sunbed. Have you heard of him? You're too skinny. Make sure you get some food down you this afternoon, eh? Yeah, I will eat, drink and be merry, Jim. That's the girl. Listen, Dad, um, why don't you stay and have lunch with us? Oh, no, sure, don't want to be any bother. I wouldn't mind a couple of hours in the bar, you know? If, if nobody minds, you know, a bit of company for me. And don't worry, I'll be on the water. Of course, yeah. Um, listen, thanks again for Amy's dog. Well, I wish it could have been more sun, you know what I mean? Where's our little princess, then? Oh, Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Right, then, who's having water to drink? Would you like a sherry blanche? I'll have a snowball. OK. Oh, hi. Um, uh, have you mentioned Tracy yet? Um, I made a bungled attempt. She said she was going to phone. Well, she did, but, um, I am crying on the other end. Could I be tell? I said a moment ago. Right, now, you be careful where you open next. You do not want a broken nose today now, do you, <laughs> eh? Thank you. Look what he bought me for Christmas. <laughs> oh. Hey, hey! I know who he's thinking of. Michelle Wee, teenage golfing sensation. Oh, you're not going to be one of them pushy parents, are you, Dad? Oh, no, no, no. I could I could see him in that role, you know, like, like the William sister's dad. You need to grow a beard, mine, to look like him. <laughs> oh, he's been on about that and all. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. He's not going to drink all of that on his own, is he? No, it's for Steve and Michelle. Good. Listen, once, right, <clears throat> not long after I secured the deal on the factory, I was, um, I was opening a bottle of champagne outside. Well, it was a um, carver, if you need to know the truth. But anyway... Is this uh, about the pigeon? Took out a pigeon <laughs> with the cork. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> no way. Oh. Fell clean out of the sky, headshot. <laughs> it, it, it weren't one of Jack's, was it? No, this was over the other side of town. Yes, well, they do fly, Liam. Yeah, it wasn't one of Jack's, all right. I, well, if you see him, don't tell him, just oh, in come case. Come on, we'd better go. You know what this is, don't you? This is symbolic. You see, your promotion from lowly market store worker to factory boss. Champagne kills pigeon. You betrayed your class, my friend. I did no such thing. It was an accident. Well, have a nice day. <laughs> see you later, yeah. kids. Bye. <laughs> to set off again in a minute. Do you want your present? I want you to dump her. And I will. You are such a cliché. Do you not think I don't know what guys are like when having an affair? Promising the world and then stringing us along? 
Let's not get into this. Not today. Just tell me honestly. Who do you prefer? You. Of course I prefer you. I want you every minute of the day. Then get rid of her. <sighs> oh, hello, hello. Welcome back. How was the hotel? We left early. It was a disgrace. A £50 per head disgrace. There was an ugly scene where Norris complained to the manageress. <laughs> Not as ugly as the manageress. Let's get him a drink. Who were in the wrong? Norris. You see, the thing about this last one was she didn't find me funny. No, she had no sense of humour whatsoever. <laughs> Give me an example. Well, on our wedding night, right, I asked her sister if she fancied joining us. <laughs> oh, I was messing about, obviously. Well, that's funny. Yeah. Wife didn't think so. Yeah. So you didn't cut you the manager then? Oh, yeah, 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 but she, uh, she had a face like a burst boot all the way through it. <laughs> anyway, that's nothing. My ex, Teresa. Tell me more about yourself. Ask me a question. Um, would you rather live in a lighthouse or a windmill? Windmill. Ask me something else. All right. An elephant has 40,000 muscles in its trunk. True or false? False. Obviously, that's ridiculous. Ah, it's true. Sorry on an advert. Where are they all? Well, that is a good question. <laughs> Leave it. Oh. Fizz? Go on. Who have you got talking to? You're in the Rovers, aren't you? <laughs> no, no. Um, Dev was out of nutmeg, so I had to drive to the other place. I'll just get back in the car now. Uh, uh, there was a problem with my card. You use your card to pay for nutmeg? Yeah, well, I wanted to get cash back. Back, get up quickly. I'm desperate to open these presents. And if I like what I find, you never know. You might just get lucky. All right, I'm on my way. Good. <clears throat> uh, would you take the foil off the turkey in one minute? I need to nip upstairs for some napkins. Sure. What's your book, Ches? <laughs> it's a joke book. Cool. How many of us are there? Four. Hello? Hi, really. Merry Christmas. How's the school coming along? Great. Oh, no, sorry. He's just nipped upstairs for some napkins. Do you want to ring back later? Oh, is that early? Get chest out, hang on. Bye. She said she'd ring back later. So, what is it you're doing? Taking the fire off it? Yeah. You ever peeled foil off a bird? No. Bet you've peeled claws off a bird, though, eh? Eh? Do you want to hear a funny joke? I've got one for you, love. How do you make Kirk's eyes light up? Go on. <laughs> Shine a torch in his ear. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant! <laughs> Roy, Ely phoned. She said she'll ring back later. <laughs> no. Oh, no, that's lovely. Thank hey, you. Is Rosie still not back? Yeah. She's probably got cornered by Rita and Emily. Emily's lovely, but I let Maria do her now. Don't you just let it go in one ear and out the other? That's what I do. Well, sometimes it goes out the very same ear. Oh, you're a cruel lot. <laughs> yeah. Norris, you were going to tell a story. Oh, well. I, I didn't ought to, really, because, I mean, it, it is ever so slightly risky, and I, I, I'd, I'd hate to embarrass Emily. It was on the subject of Norris's difficulty with women, or his first brush with one, if the lead-up's to be believed. How old were you, Norris? Nine. Nine? Yeah, it, it, you see, we were at the fair, you know, and uh, me and a couple of pals of mine, and... Well, the, these boys got to talking about the fat lady's tent. And, well, after much bravado, we, we decided the fat lady wasn't for us, so we all went home. Well, I've heard better, I must say. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yes, but, but you see, later that night, I snuck back to the fairground on my own. <laughs> Waltzers were waltzing and, and music was playing and, uh, and I slipped into the fat lady's tent. I feel the risque bit coming up. And she, 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 she was sitting there all alone on this little wooden stool and uh, well, she, uh, she beckoned me to come closer. She said, if I gave her threatens, she'd put my hand on something soft. So what did you do? I made sure nobody was watching and uh, gave her my threatens. <laughs> what did she do? She, she, she took my hand in hers and, and she placed it. Right on, on top, top of, of it. Oh, <laughs> no, Norris, only you. And, 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 and from that day forward... You've been extremely cautious when it comes to women. Yes, extremely cautious. Oh. Well, that's nothing. My missus, if she's sure and signed saying one for the price of two, she'd have it and wouldn't even think twice. There you are, is he? <laughs> yeah, Dad. What's this, son? Well, I didn't know whether you wanted it warming up or whether you were going to take it with you. Oh, Stephen, you didn't have to be doing that. Yes, I did. Well, I'll tell you what'll take it with me. There's a microwave in the hostel, so there is. Sure. Aye, oh, certainly. Right, listen, gentlemen, all the very best. Yeah, you're all right. Good, I wish you Cheers. well. Have a good day. Cheers, mate. Listen, um, what are you going to do with yourself tonight? Well, one of the old fellas fancies a game of cards and he's got a radio, so we're, we're, we're all right. A radio? It's like being back inside. <laughs> As long as I can see Amy on Christmas Day, that'll keep me going. Don't you worry. Here we go, Yeah. Pajamas. Oh my God! These are massive. What the hell have I done? What are you doing? We're going home now. Thanks for my present, Liam. He's been playing with them all morning. Well, he beats frankincense. What actually is frankincense? So. Well, it's similar to myrrh, isn't it? Spell myrrh. M E R. Mm -mm. M Y R R H. It's <laughs> mad spelling, that, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, who bought Amy the collected hits of David Bowie? Oh, um, yeah, uh, me and Amy, we were in uh, Deb's shop the other day. Sound and Vision come on the radio. You should have seen her. She was giving it what I thought. Boom, my dear. <laughs> Weren't you making noises about wanting that? Th no, that is entirely coincidental. <laughs> no. Steve, get on board. Uh, Listen, Fizz, I don't know what else to tell you. John definitely hasn't been in. Amber, have you seen Mr. Stape today? No. Not Meg, right? Tons of stuff. And what's the problem anyway? And uh, who's that for? Hmm? This. Oh, don't worry. No one important. Only Sally Webster. What? Ambush. Steve's been diddling Sally. So what happened? Well, she went to go and see him, and uh, she's going to do the test. What? Well, every time I broach the subject, she shuts it down. But if she says yes to it, it's like someone putting a bomb under everything, and, and boom. Michelle. Look, I saw Nick, I said I'd do a DNA test, and that's the end of it. Now, come on and have this drink. It won't be the end of anything. What if it's true? You've got a bear that in mind going in, and, and if it is true, Michelle... Could you turn it down, Adash? It's festive, right? It's very, very loud. 
That is right, right. It's festive. Yeah. Hello? Hello? I'm dead. <laughs> hey, is anybody listening? Uh, Mum, yeah. you do know if I was late for Christmas dinner, you'd go absolutely <laughs> right. Oh, well, if she's drunk, she's drunk. Right, there you go. That's her now. She's probably lost the keys in the pub. Go oh. and let her in. <laughs> Come on, then, Bill. No, forget it. None of you were interested. Oh, oh. we were. We were. Go on, Bill. I'll tell you what, Dad, I will never have an electric blanket, not for all the tea in China. Oh. <laughs> He's scared we'd get electrocuted. Yeah, poor <laughs> India for that matter. No, you can all laugh, but I'll tell you what, if your roof's leaking in the right place, zap. Oh, you're <laughs> paranoid or what, eh? Paranoid. Hey, just cos I'm paranoid doesn't mean it won't happen. <laughs> Fizz? What's going on? You tell me. Hi, Fizz, love. Happy Christmas. You all right, love? <laughs> Don't look like I'm all right, Audrey. That must be for you. Hey, hey what are you doing? We were right. Right about what? My boyfriend and your wife. What? Hey! hey. What? <laughs> you two thought that I was... Well, we realised it was stupid. Until but... now. Well, why would your boyfriend buy Sally underwear? Why do you think? John, the teacher. <sighs> you thought that I was having an affair. <laughs> what does it say on a label? Do you think he'd write a name on a label? Sophie, go to your room. No. I go into my bedroom this morning and I find that under the bed, not my size, not my style, hidden. You believe her, don't you? Mum? It's written all over her face. So she says, it's an occasional table. And he said, well, what is it the rest of the time? <laughs> well, I didn't know, did I? Well, do you, I like it when he gets things wrong. <laughs> <isn't it? laughs> By the time that he thought a grand piano meant just like a really, really good one. I did not say that. That is a total lie, that. I can't believe it. Oh, oh what are you going to get Bethany piano lesson? Oh, um, yeah, I, I might do. Thinking about it. But I, I do think it's important that she's musical, you know, like me. You? Well, I'm a good singer, aren't I? You can sing. <laughs> Better than you are. <laughs> All right, then, let's go have a singing competition right here, right now. Go on, you go pick a song. I'm not going to pick a song. Yeah. Well, maybe we should think about getting Beth some piano lessons again, eh, Sarah? Mm. I thought you'd already spoken to somebody. Well, I did, yeah, but... I don't know, it just seemed a bit boring. I thought we might look for someone a bit more... continental. <laughs> oh, Ooh. continental! Don't you think, Chase? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Why won't you listen to me? How can you deny it? Sophie, go up to your room. No, what's happening? Look, why don't we go outside and cool down? I don't want to go outside. Why is everybody looking at me? She's out of her mind. Yeah, well, is it true? How could you ask me that? You're a lying cow, Sally Webster. Of course it's not true! Get out of the car. Get out. Oh, bye, oh, bye. Fizz? Fizz? Just take your knickers and get out. I'll get out when you've given me an extra. Why can't John explain? He said he was going out for nutmeg. And all along he's been... He's... If you think he's out there knocking somebody off, Fizz, it can't be Sally, can it? Cos she's here. Well, thank God for Dr Watson. Oh, Sally has been here all day. You really suspected this was true? Well, it must be somebody. I mean, nobody buys nutmeg, Audrey. do they? If John is seeing somebody, Fizz, then I'm sorry, but it's nobody's business but yours. And you have no right to barge in here on Christmas Day with my daughter sitting there. He teaches me A-level English, Fizz. We're friends, nothing more. Well, if it's not you, then who is it? No. You? No, th th no, 
it's not. This is for a friend. It's not from John. I swear it's not. Rosa. No one said it was. I, I, I was going to suggest a video. Oh, not the man who haunted himself again, Norris. Well, well, well Rita hasn't seen it. it. It's a ghost story with a sterling central performance from Roger Moore. Oh. He gets it out every bank holiday, does he? Yeah, now? Well... I'm sorry. John, I didn't tell them! Nobody bite! Not me! No, you need to let me explain to you. It's all of you. It was just a mistake. Bill, stop him! Oh, Kevin! Kevin, don't! Kevin! That's enough! That's enough! We let you into our home. She was only 16. You're lucky it don't kill you. Get her in the house! It wasn't my fault. I kept trying to tell her, but she wouldn't listen to me. Please, I, I love you. Nobody ever made me as happy as you did. No, well, just give me one more chance. We get married. We can have kids. It don't have to end like this. Happy Christmas, love. Do you think you are? I mean, of all people, Rosa, how can you do that to a sweet, harmless girl like Fizz? How could I do that to her? How could he do that to him? He's lying there, half dead. They was virtually married. Why do you have to go and mess everything up, Rosa, all the time? What's going to happen now? Well, they'll sack him for a start and they'll chuck you out of school. On what grounds? What adults? Adult? You're a flaming kid. A stupid, pie-eyed little fool. Look what you've rolled me to! Do you even like me? How long has this been going on? Oh, who cares? Rosie, get back here now! And did Santa bring you anything nice, Becky? Who's for some chocolate log? Oh, no, I couldn't, thanks, Kirk. Hey, me and Buzz will have some. I put a pair of diamond earrings on my list, but I don't think Santa got it. I'm dead. Excuse me? Oh, it's the game we're playing. A party game called Murder. Have you heard of it? No. What you do, right? Get a pen and paper. We didn't go into to... it. The murderer has to wink at all his victims, and everyone else has to try and catch him or her in the act. If the murderer winks at you, then you wait for a few minutes and then just say, I'm dead. Yeah. Or, if the person refuses to die, you have to keep winking at him to try and kill him off. Sounds like fun. Yeah, well... Better my people. But even latecomers can play. And for that matter, I'm dead. You see? I was a beef. Oh, I'll put this straight in the wash. Mm. Someone go and get her down. No, Kevin, she's giving herself a scare. Just leave her to it. All that time. He's in here, under this roof, teaching Sally books, having a drink with us down the pub. I tell you what, if I get my hands on him, I'll give him seconds. Dad? Yeah. Kevin Webster? Yeah? I'm arresting you on suspicion of assault. You don't have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned something that you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. You are? <laughs> Kevin's shirt. Will you stay here, Audrey, and keep an eye on him? Oh. <laughs> Bill, are you sure you're all right to drive? I'm fine. I've hardly touched a drop, love. Kevin, we're right behind you. Come on, my love. Come on. Get in the wall. Can you see what's going on? Are you serious? Listen, though, just keep it to yourself, OK? Shall I book flights? 
Well, don't you think you should tell Uncle Stephen first? Eh? Yeah, OK. Hmm? Listen, just ask him to the pub, but um, just be cash about it, all right? Oh, Jason, you've made me the happiest. Try your best. Grazie. Hey. Mm. Oh. Oh. oh, come on, as if I care about presents. Well, that's the thing. I did actually get you something. What? Right. Do you like it? I mean, I know that other thing you had broke, so... You shouldn't drink during the daytime. You go all weird. <laughs> Less of the cheek, you. I love you. Thank you very much. Well, you deserve it. Merry Christmas. Let's open that champagne, shall we? Thank you very much. Hi. You're fluent in Japanese. I don't believe you. Yeah, it's from all manga films I used to watch. Japanese is actually my third language. English being my second. What's your first language, then? I don't have a first language. <laughs> Thank you. Cheers. What, anything? Yeah. Tell him anything, and I bet you he'll say that's not if he listen to this. Here we go. So, just uh, saying to me dad there, Jerry, I knew this bloke once who had a snake, a whole snake, the eyes, the body, the work, scales, everything. You never did. A snake? <laughs> what? Nothing. M me dad said that you'd say that that's nothing listening to this. Oh, I see. Here we are having a nice Christmas drink. There was no need to say that to him. There was no need for him to say that to you, is the distinction I'd make. What was it Marlon Brando said about James Caan? Sometimes my son speaks when he should stay quiet. I've got one of those. You all right? Yes. All right, mate. Thought you said you didn't like him. You two were both in my dream last night. Yeah. We're all having a nice little dance in Eileen's kitchen. And then all of a sudden, a parcel arrived. What was in it? Hundreds of tiny little toothbrushes. Eileen reckons it's got something to do with babies. You know what, with Violet's baby on the way. Oh, and it's a year to the day since baby Holly arrived. And yesterday there was something on the wireless about dentists, so... Excuse me. You realise, don't you? This time next year, we won't be studying it. We'll be up to our necks in it. Changing nappies, making up feeds. You know what this is, don't you? It's the end of youth. I still think we'll be able to live a bit. I, I think things will be... they'll be better. Oh, no, don't, don't get me wrong. I'm looking forward to it. But I'm not going to kid myself. The life I've led in the last 10, 15 years, answering to no-one, caring about nothing. This year, that all goes out the window. Bye-bye, girls. Hello, colic. Are you scared? I'm absolutely terrified. Serious? It was. Right. Oh. Ah, look who's it. Happy Christmas. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, these are on me. What are you having? Oh. Uh, put your money away. Hey, is that the stuff we got yet? Yeah. One isn't going to do any harm, is it? Well, I will if you will. <laughs> right, what we're going to toast to then, eh? Well, I'd like to raise a glass to my brother, if no one objects. Yeah, me too. You here? And, uh, as ever, of course, to Dean. I'm sure they're both pulling crackers in the sky. Well, they certainly left a couple of crackers down here, that's for sure. <laughs> they did indeed. I like your work, McDonald. To absent friends. Absent to friends. absent friends. <laughs> well, I ain't had a family Christmas in a long, long time. Well, I'm glad you talked me into it. <laughs> And when these little rascals have gone home, me and you can nip upstairs, can't we? You know, <laughs> while the cat's away, I'll slip into something more comfortable. <laughs> Kirk? No, it were a joke. It were a joke! Oh, my God, it were a joke! Pat your own back. Pat your own back. Rob! 
I can't. It was a joke, honest, please. I, I thought everyone would laugh. He left. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. He swallowed the coin. I bet he swallowed the coin. Shift. <laughs> I think I know what's coming. We've we've had a proper think about your offer, and we've decided to take you up on it. Thanks again for asking us, though. Well, that's that's brilliant news. But I got the impression you didn't tell your mum about this. No. Why have you? Well, no, I, I didn't think it was worth it until you'd made your mind up. I, I want to get the flights booked and everything, and then we'll tell them. So they can't talk you out of it. You are still all right about it, aren't you? Yeah, I just don't want your mothers to throttle me, that's all. <laughs> we should be getting back to our day. Is that a code word for the bedroom? It's the dog. Yeah, I know it's the dog. Shouldn't we be heading off now? He's playing with some fairy tale evening. Mm -hmm. What time is table book? Half past eight. Oh, we've got plenty of time, then. Well, no, not really. Uh, the restaurant's in Paris. Paris. If you think that's impressive, watch this. Hey, what's <laughs> up, baby? <laughs> well, we got it all you ain't. <laughs> we had bookshelves in our bedroom. And you used to take a book off the shelf and actually sit there and read it. Don't think about him. In the space of an hour, I've gone from being on cloud nine to being on... Cloud ten. Oh, Kirk, I'm sorry. You don't want to hear any of this. I'm sorry if I was horrible to you. No, I'm sorry. But it'll all look better in the morning. That's what I used to say. Where's Dad? They've locked him up. That's where Dad is. What are you trying to do to us? Stuck in a cell for trying to defend you. <laughs> trying to defend me? Is that what he was trying to do? If your father goes to prison because you couldn't keep your knickers on, you're in for a very bumpy ride. Well, it wouldn't be the first. Arrogant, thoughtless little tart. <laughs> and just so you know, Mum, John didn't take advantage of me or anything like that. Oh, get out of my sight. And I know why you're upset. It's not because Dad's in a cell. <gasps> or because I ruined Christmas. It's because I'm 17 and you're... 40. I had what you wanted. And you're jealous. Oh! Buy Amy a present to make up for it. It's a good job I love you. Do you? Really? I do. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never guess. Fizzy's boyfriend and Rosie Webster. No. Kevin has knocked seven shades out of him. He's been arrested. No way. Yeah. to you. Yes, 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 we have a very eventful day here. But no, what, what, what about you? What, what about your day? 
No, 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 no. You first. I, I insist. Go. On. Oh, 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 all right. Well, oh, oh, Becky. Becky was here. Yes, yes. And uh, not on the around now. The chair's knee. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Make the Yuletide gay. You live with your husband, uh, boyfriend? I've just split up with my boyfriend, actually. Oh. He said I was getting fat. Yeah. You know, um, being Prime Minister, I could just have him murdered. It's love, actually. Next. Thank you.